we welcome you to another episode of Father Homes. We thank our lovely subscribers and for those watching our channel for the first time, we will kindly ask you to do us a favor by hitting the subscription button which is located at the bottom right corner of your screen. In episode 16, we will present to you some of the preparatory works that you must do before final landscaping is done. Most people begin their landscaping works after all the bedroom structures are completed, the fence wall has been erected and all the underground utility lines, cables and the septic tank have been placed. In fact, doing the final landscaping works at the end of the building project is the safest and the most economical way of completing your project. This is because there will be less risk of trucks or machinery destroying some of the landscaping works that you have already done or damaging some of the underground utility lines or cables. However, you don't have to wait till the end before you begin your landscaping work, especially if you have a master plan that you have gone over several times and you are convinced that that is the type of landscaping that you would like to have. For example, you can plant your trees, shrubs and grass and do some of the preparatory curbing or masonry works. In this way, by the time the house is completed, then at least you have uh, semi-mature trees and your grass is almost taking shape and everything looks so nice. As a disclaimer, my wife and I are not professional landscapers, but nothing prevents us from being creative and also designing something that we feel will suit our purpose. This was just to give the landscaper an idea about our expectations. We gave him the liberty to move things around and also to select the type of landscaping that will be suitable for our building project. Landscaping is considered to be an extension of a house and therefore you need to tailor the landscaping to fit the architecture of a particular house. Landscaping can be very expensive and so any small part that you can do yourself can help bring down the cost. The concept of a different project that we undertook in the past was not to have any natural grass at the front of the house. The reason being that if you have to travel for extended periods and you are not able to cut your grass, you may have complaints from neighbors, citation from the city, or even receive a fine. We hired a professional to do the curbing for us, and then we planted the tree, the shrubs, and then placed the stones around the shrubs and the tree. This is a low maintenance yard. Even if you are not available for a very long time, nobody will notice your absence. And that was exactly what we wanted to achieve. In addition, we saved lots of money by doing the landscaping ourselves and it was also a fun time for the kids and a great opportunity for family bonding and unity. The second most important consideration was what we wanted to do in our yard. We wanted a large play area for the children, a good amount of greenery, ability to do some gardening, possibility to entertain guests outside and park up to six cars in the house. So the landscaping concept for the two houses were different. Our next consideration was to select the landscaping style that complemented the architecture of our home. There are many landscaping styles that one can choose from. For example, if you have a house that is located on a large acreage, then it is going to be more economical if you use some of the natural elements like the stones, the wood logs, as part of the landscaping design. This will save you a lot of cost and also there's that kind of naturalness that comes with having those elements around the house. Times have really changed, but rustic landscaping, which has the old country charm, appeals to me a lot. It is when the landscaping has vintage items placed at certain locations. And I'll tell you, if you go on a trip and you stay in some of those kind of uh, vintage houses, it is most likely going to be more expensive than any modern hotel that you will sleep in. You can also have the contemporary style of landscaping. This will be very similar to the other projects where we use the trees, the shrubs and then the stones just to design something that was really simple but elegant. The most common type of landscaping that we have around these days is the modern type. This involves the use of industrial materials like tiles, concrete and concrete products like paving stones and also the use of artificial grass and other materials. To conclude on the landscaping styles, adding an outdoor water feature,
brings out the beauty of whichever landscaping style you choose. It could be just a simple water fountain or a swimming pool of different shapes or styles. To keep our video short, we would like to end here and continue in episode 17 next week. We thank you for subscribing and for watching to the end.